Last week, I was a teacher for the world's dumbest students. Well, today, they found a way to get dumber. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to Papers Grade, please. I love this game last week, and you guys did too. Okay, here we go. It looks like we're doing geography again, and this girl uh, pointed at Italy and called it a boot, which technically isn't wrong, because Italy is the shape of a boot. But no, that would be Italy, not a boot. A boot is not even the name of a country, so you're gonna get an F. Okay, what is this guy gonna do? This guy thinks that China is... is China. Hey, that that's an A+. I don't really feel like knowing where China is deserves an A+. Like, that seems like very basic knowledge. This girl got Russia right. Okay, you know what? I'm actually pretty proud of my students. Two out of the three of them got it right. Bonus level, school dance? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be a chaperone at the school dance. Drag to move the spotlight, separate couples dancing too close. Okay, so I need to make sure that none of the couples dance too close to each other. Oh, they're getting too close. Let's break them up. Okay, so I get paid for making these kids have less fun. That, that's what's happening right now. I am having, I'm basically ruining these kids' nights and getting paid for it. I am not proud of myself right now, although I am making a boatload of money right now. So you know what? I will not complain. I made like 400 bucks. Wow. I got an A+. Plus. So let's upgrade the school. We have $860. We can upgrade the school here. Whoa. Now we've got two floors to our school and let's give it a better basketball court. Wow. Now it's like a little arena. Okay. Things are going great. If you guys want to see more of this game on the channel, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you guys subscribe right now. Okay, here we go. Name the indicated body part. They're pointing at the hand. The guy said, hey, why does he look so terrified right now? Is he not confident that this is a hand? Is he not a human being that was born with two hands? Okay, you know what? We're going to give him an A+, but I don't trust him. Which one lays eggs? Turtles do do lay eggs. Okay, this is not as much fun. Normally, my students are super dumb. Today, they're just partially dumb. Okay, here we go. What's the common name of the composite Hokuna Matata? What? Uh, wait, I'm confused. Okay, this is the first one that I might get wrong. If you see in the top left corner, I have an experience streak of 38 which means I've gotten all 38 questions right. Well, that might come crashing down right now because what's the common name of the composite Hakuna? Hakuna Matata, da, 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 there's no friend of mine. That's kind of what I think. I don't think that's what they're going. I'm going to give her an F, but I don't know what the right answer is. Okay, my streak lives on. I just don't know what the right answer was, so I... I kind of feel just as dumb as the students. Oh, it's time for uh, geometry. I think that's the shapes, right? I th shapes. Okay. Uh, name the shape. This guy named the shape Bob. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I'm not asking you to give the shape a name. I'm asking you what kind of shape it is. It, that would be a hexagon because it's got six sides. Uh, it's not Bob. I, I hate to break it to you, buddy, but it's not Bob. So my streak is now 40. Uh, complete the correct plural. Brushes. That that seems right, right? Yes. Okay. For, I don't know why I wasn't super confident there. How many vowels is... Uh, I, I can't read that because the kid crossed it out. Uh, there was no question, so I get an A+. Plus. You know what? I like this guy's gumption. He didn't know the answer, so he crossed it out, hoped that the teacher would forget that there actually was a question, and just gave himself an A+. Plus. I really want to give this kid an A, but no, I got to keep my streak alive. That is 42 in a row for me. I was a little worried my students were getting too smart, and then that came crashing down. Now they're just as dumb as they've ever been. You know what? Maybe dumber. Okay, uh, protect your egg. No scratches, no breaks. And this girl brought me breakfast. I, I don't think there's supposed to be a sunny side up egg in this experiment, so I'm going to give her an F. Although she kind of looked confident. Okay, this, uh, this girl... Oh, no, 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 no. See, this girl's smart. You know what? This is gonna be the future genius because she cracked her egg, but then made it look like Batman's mouth. I really like the creativity, 
but no, that would be a crack, so you don't deserve an A. And this guy just brought me an egg. You know what? He cracked his egg, so he just went to the local grocery store and bought his own egg, but I'm going to have to give him an A-plus for that. I you know what? Not too bad. I mean, this game is one of the goofiest and silliest games I've ever played in my life. But I absolutely love it. I want to find more games just like this. Okay, math class. I have three cookies. I ate one. How many cookies do I have left? Not enough. That, that's a great answer. I mean, come on. That is a great answer. The guy ate, had three cookies. He ate one. Clearly, he's got two cookies left. Two cookies isn't enough. I'd like eight cookies. I'd like ten cookies. Anything more than two. That... In my mind, this kid deserves an A+, but I don't think that's supposed to be the right answer. Okay, how much of the pizza is left? Three-fourths? Marianne with her blue hair and green shirt? Got it right. Okay, that's that's actually fantastic. Calculate nine minus four. I mean, that is so embarrassing. This girl looks like she's, I don't know what, maybe maybe fifth or sixth grade? Like, how old do you guys think this student is? She looks like she... she Put it this way, she is old enough to know what 9 minus 4 is. Have you ever played Baldi's Basics? It's 5, Marianne. No, it's not 6. Oh my gosh, that might be the worst one yet. Oh no, we've got geography again, and I am not very good with geography. I barely even know what the word geography means. Okay, uh, what country owns Greenland? Blue... <laughs> Blueland. Okay. I don't really know what country owns Greenland. I, I thought they owned themselves. I thought Greenland was its own country and they owned themselves. I was not aware that they were owned by someone. But I do know that they're not owned by Blue Land. And if they are, then you know what? I'm just gonna smack myself in the nose. And it's gonna hurt because I've got a big nose. I'm gonna give him a failure. Okay. Uh, does somebody own Greenland? Guys, let me know in the comments who the heck owns Greenland. I'm gonna say... Spain. No, France. I'm gonna say France owns Greenland. Okay, this flag is the flag of France. True. Okay. You had to try to get that one wrong, man. The French flag is literally three blocks. You've got red. You've got white. You've got blue. This is very clearly not the French flag. In fact, I'm fairly certain that's the Brazil flag, which isn't even in the right continent. He's not even in Europe. Okay, we're gonna give him an F and move on. I yelled at him too much. Mark a past president of the United States. Michael Jackson. Colonel Sanders? Okay, I, I love fried chicken more than most people in this world. If, if Colonel Sanders was a president of the United States, you know what? Maybe things would be better off. I don't know. But he actually got that one right. He said Barack Obama. So we're up to $660, which should be enough to upgrade the cafeteria. Oh, wow. That's a lot nicer than the cafeteria I had at my school. Do we have enough to upgrade the jungle gym? We, oh, is that a roller coaster? What kind of school is this? If you guys remember last week's video, this school literally had holes in the wall. It didn't even have a ceiling and they spelled school wrong on the school. Now we've got, uh, we, we've got like a, a five course uh, food ca cafeteria. We've got a roller coaster and we've got an entire arena. Okay, I kind of want to go back in time and go to this school. Moving air is called rain? I would have even accepted fart. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going for wind here. I would have accepted fart, but rain? I, I mean, have you never seen water come from the sky before? My goodness gracious. That, that, I say it every time, but that might be the worst one yet. What planet has rings? Saturn. Saturn. This guy got it right. Saturn's actually one of my favorite planets. It actually might be my favorite planet behind planet Earth. Okay. Uh, matter is pulled to the ground by aliens. Oh my gosh. This kid doesn't know what gravity is. This kid literally doesn't know what gravity is. Okay, I have a streak of 54. I mean, my students might be dumber than uh, this this thing of gum. Uh, they might be dumber than uh, this flash drive. But you know what? I have a streak of 54, so I don't even care. Oh, it's science class again. Okay, we've got pink. We've got blue. We've got pink. And we've got blue. I like saying blue in a funny voice. I think it's funny. Okay. I kind of want to find out what happens if I get this one wrong. But I really don't want to end my streak of 55, man. You know what? I'm doing it. I'm going all blue. Oh, I had such a nice streak going. All right, here we go. What happens? What happens? What? 
How did I... I don't know why I got that one right. I, I clearly didn't use the right ingredients. Okay, you know what? That's fine. At least I, I have a streak of 56, so I'm proud of myself. And blue and fantastic. I still don't know what happens when I get that one wrong, but I guess we will never find out. Complete the word. My goodness, that is not how you spell fire. You know what? Honestly, this isn't the worst one. Like if I was, I don't know, seven years old and I didn't know how to spell fire, that that's a... A possible answer. Uh, so you know what? I'm not going to make fun of her. It it's wrong. It it's very wrong. But it's not that bad. Circle the verb in the following phrase. Bob. He was so close. He was he was one word away from the... From the uh, you know what? A verb is what you do. Jump. Run. Laugh. Play. Uh, Bob is not a... Uh, it's not. It's not. It's a name. It's a name. Okay? It's a name. No. False. Get out of here, Bob. Uh, form a word with the following letters. Scarf. Wait, did he do that right? Let's see. Is there an S? Yes. Is there a C? A? R? F? Wow. I, I don't know if I could have done that one. Oh, recess. I remember this from last time. Move around and break up the fights. We've got the most, uh, aggressive students I've ever seen in my life. When I had recess, we used to play football, basketball. You know what? Maybe we would go for a jog. We never had fist fights at my recesses. Okay, here we go. Uh, I've already broken up like seven. I've already broken up seven, now eight, now nine, now ten. We, uh, recess has been going on for uh, 37 seconds, and I've already broken up uh, 12 fights. That seems uh, hard to happen, man. It seems hard to happen. There's less fights at a boxing match than at this recess. And we are back once again to geography, and this girl thinks that Australia is the land of Oz. Uh, we- oh my gosh, now let's get out of here. We're not in the Wizard of Oz, Marianne! Yes, I just call them all Marianne because I don't know their names. Okay, Russia, she actually got that one right. You know what? She already had that question, so it was easy for her. And this guy thinks that China's China! Fantastic! My students are getting better at geography. Well, everything went downhill very fast because this kid thinks a car is an apple. It, it, it's, it's not an apple. Nope, a car is something that you drive. An apple is something that you eat. It's a delicious fruit. It's actually pretty good for you. They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. I, I can't confirm or deny that, but I know it's not a car. So no, get out of here. Get out of here. The who painted three musicians? Pablo Picasso. Uh, well, it wasn't Ronald McDonald and it wasn't Tom Cruise. So we're going to go uh, sure. I actually didn't know that the three musicians was painted by Picasso. I, I don't, I'm not very good with art. Okay. Uh, draw two parallel lines. I mean, technically, they're not exactly parallel because there's a slight curve, but you know what? I think she had the right track. I'm going to give it to her. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs, and I will see all of you in the next video.